Hey, YouTubers, it's SSS7X for today. So you might say, why are you making a video on a Tuesday? Like, why the hell are you making a video on a Tuesday? You usually make videos on a Thursday. And the answer is I have an extra topic this week. So don't get the false hope that we're gonna do this every single week, like two topics a week. Uh, I'm not back to doing videos as regularly as I used to. Uh, this is just a rare exception to the rule. So anyway, another Pokemon topic. Also, we are almost at the midway point of October. Pretty freaking amazing. So that's purely freaking amazing. Almost at the midway point point of October. The year is purely flying by, so pretty freaking amazing. Anyway, another Pokemon topic, which basically is about Brock, the first uh, generation gym leader. So uh, Brock from Pokemon uh, Red, Green, Blue, Yellow, and Fire Red and Leaf Green, why is he special? And the answer is in first generation Pokemon games, in the first generation, you know, Pokemon Red, Green, Blue, and Yellow, essentially Brock is special because he carries uh, five full heals per Pokemon. This is very odd. This is something I did not know, and believe me, I played Pokemon back in the 90s, the 1990s, because I'm 31 years old, almost 32 years old. I played Pokemon Red when it first came out back in like 96, 97, 98. Maybe not that early, but I played Pokemon as a kid. I am not a Gen Z kid, so I definitely played Pokemon when it first came out. And I didn't know up until probably about a year ago that Brock, that Brock had, um, you know, five full heals for his Geodude and five full heals for his Onyx. I had no clue about that, no freaking clue about that. I actually found that out through another YouTuber whose uh, YouTube name is J Rose, uh, J Rose 11. And big shout out to him. He does uh, like Pokemon uh, challenge runs. Big shout out to him. Big shout out to you, brother. So. You know, definitely check him out. He's a nice uh, YouTuber. So uh, anyway, enough of that crap. So yeah, Brock has five full heals per Pokemon for his Geodude and Onyx. This is really weird because honestly, the only way you could status Brock at this point in the game is either with a Weedle that has Poison Sting or for example, a or like a Beedrill or like a Kakuna that has Poison Sting or a Butterfree if you took time to level up your Butterfree up to like level 15 or 16 and it had Sleep Powder or if you had a Charmander or a Charmeleon or technically a Charizard that had Ember, for example, most commonly a Charmander, that had Ember and it, it caused a burn on Brock's Pokemon, he would use a full heal. Now it's also weird, really weird, is really freaking weird, is you cannot buy full heals for quite some time. You can buy antidotes, you can buy like general healing items like antidotes and paralysis heals, but you cannot buy full heals in Pokemon Red and Blue up until I want to say Vermilion, maybe Lavender Town. It's a long time. You can't buy like full restores up until I think um, you know, Cinnabar Island in the Pokemon League. I think Cinnabar Island might be the only place you can get full restores, but full heals, which basically collect which basically cure any status condition, including confusion, at least in future generation games. And I know they, they cure confusion. Uh, you can't buy those in like Peter City or Vir Viridian City. So uh, I'm not sure why Brock has five full heals per Pokemon, but it's really weird because I watch this guy, J-Rose, and he tries like a lot of different types of Pokemon that have like sleep moves or like poison moves or like burn moves, and Brock will always use a full heal. Now the benefit of that is basically he'll waste his turn using a full heal, so you can essentially uh, chip away at the HP if you're doing like a challenge run with like a Game Shark. But it's just really freaking weird because I'm not sure why he has, you know, five full heals per Pokemon. It's freaking weird. Anyway, but it's a fact. It's a fact, Jack. Don't talk back. Anyway, bye.